everyone welcome back to study onion and today we're going to talk more about the surface features which are present on the moon let's go let's cover some facts and figures at the beginning the moon's polar diameter is smaller than its equatorial diameter which means that the diameter between the north and the south pole of the moon is smaller than the distance between the west limb and the east limb this means that it's an oblate spheroid in shape Furthermore, the full disk of the moon subtends at an angle of less than 0.5 degrees over the casual eye level of the observer, but the moon's features can be picked up by even the most casual of observers. The large seas on the moon are known as Maria, and are sometimes just referred to as seas, and singular of Maria is, and these Maria are made of basalt rock. And the lighter grey, almost mountainous highlands of igneous rock, they're known as terrae. And these highlands are made of igneous rock called anorthosite. Let's continue on to look at the moon's principal features. The names of the four craters of the moon originate from Aristarchus, Kepler, Copernicus, and these are all different astronomers who made significant astronomical discoveries. And their discoveries will be covered more in following videos. The seas, or Maria, which are named here include the Ocean of Storms, Sea of Crises, Sea of Serenity, Sea of Tranquility, Sea of Fertility, and finally, the Sea of Neck. And finally, to talk about the Apennine Mountains, it's extremely important that the arrow is pointed correctly at the Apennine Mountains, because an arrow that's pointed slightly above makes it fall into the Alps section of the mountains on the moon. Let me just mention that the only features you need to identify for this specification is the Tycho, Copernicus and Kepler craters, the Sea of Crises, the Ocean of Storms and the Sea of Tranquility and the Apennine mountain ranges. These are the features that are in the specification but I have given some other features which would be good to learn as other reference points because sometimes only half the moon is given with exam questions and it can be difficult to identify those. Now, can you spot the difference in these two photos of the moon? If you look at both of the moon's photos showing either side of the moon, you might notice one significant difference. The far side of the moon is devoid of Maria. And you might be asking me, quite rightly, why is this? And this is because early, early during the moon's formation, the moon was bombarded heavily by debris from the formation of the solar system. And this created cratered highlands and maria. When the storm of debris abated, molten lava emerged through the thinner crust on the near side, where it solidified to form lunar maria. Mountain ranges were created near the maria. Lunar craters were formed by meteorites hitting the lunar surface. Each impact created a shockwave which compressed surface material. The rebound material, also known as ejecta, splattered material out into all different directions, creating rays. Let's have a look at a practice question. Explain the reasoning behind the lack of lunar maria on the moon's surface. This would be a three mark question, so you need to make three points which will be fully able to answer the question. One of the example answers that I've written here shows the three points that you could have made. This is by no means the only answer and it is only an example of what you could write in the exam. At the beginning, the moon was bombarded by leftover rocky debris which created the moon's cratered highlands and mare. So this would be one mark. When the storm of debris seized and molten lava seeped through the near side crust where it f solidified to form Maria. So this is the second mark. The far side of the lunar Maria is thicker than the near side. So it was more difficult for the debris to pierce through the crust on the far side. So that would be your final mark. To summarise, the shape of the moon is an oblate spheroid. The disk of the moon subtends at an angle of less than 0 0.5 degrees. Yet, even a casual observer can pick out most of the moon's features. The large grey seas are Maria, singular mare, of basalt rock, and the lighter grey mountainous highlands, which are made of igneous rock, are called terrae. The moon's principal features include the craters, Kepler, Copernicus and Tycho, and the Maria, known as the seas, ocean of storms, sea of crises and sea of tranquility. 
Finally, the mountains near the seas are also known as the Apennine. Pa- the far side of the moon has almost no Maria, especially in comparison. Early in the moon's formation, the moon was bombarded by debris creating highlands and mares. When the debris stopped hitting, molten lava creeped out of the thinner crust and solidified to form Maria on the near side. Lunar craters which were formed by meteorites hitting the lunar surface and the rebound material known as ejecta splattered into all of the different directions, creating rays. Hopefully that helps you learn more about Lunar Maria and the surface features that are present on the moon. See you guys next time. Bye!